Parker is one of the 29 districts in Pakistan's Sindh province. It is the largest district in Sindh and unfortunately also the least developed with a low human development index of 0.227. Historically, Tharapaka has been known to be heavily neglected by both local dynasties and the British Raj, which has played a subsequent role in the extremely poor living conditions in the area. Tharapaka's terrain is mostly desert with a tropical desert climate and a very sparse vegetation. It is spread over 9,638 kilometers squared and has a population of 1.6 million people and a very low population density of 83 individuals per square kilometer only. The tumultuous temperatures make life very difficult for the locals, even in the winter with an average temperature of 9 degrees Celsius at night and 28 degrees Celsius during the day. Moreover, Tharapaka is custom to fluctuating rainfall levels. The highest rainfall recorded since 1997 is 1,306 millimeters, but also has a rainfall as low as 100 millimeters in a year. This leads to uncertainty for the locals as they are always suffering from unreliable agriculture, leaving Tharapaka constantly battling famine. Hence why officials have declared Tharapaka to be drought stricken 17 times since 1960s. Local population is majority rural, with only 4% living in urban areas. Tharapaka's economy relies heavily on agriculture. However, as previously stated, the reliability of this is fickle due to the constant state of drought. Another source of income for Tharapaka is the livestock, which is also troublesome to maintain as it is hard enough to keep the local people fed, let alone the animals as well. An income stream from handcrafts is popular amongst women, who often specialize in making wooden toys and other small goods. The region suffers from a high infant mortality rate, with over 1,500 children dying annually. This is mainly due to the underdeveloped healthcare services in the area, which cannot provide adequate care to those in need. In 2019, efforts were made to strengthen and modernize the healthcare services. However, Due to the overwhelming population, there is still huge progress left till change is noticeable. There is a long list of problems faced by the locals, amongst which are the majority of residents having no formal legal entitlement to their property, the administration of inadequate and bad healthcare, and also water contamination and poor education. Problems like contaminated water result in even more problems like waterborne diseases such as cholera, typhoid, hepatitis, malaria, jungle fever, periodontitis, and certain vitamin and nutrient deficiencies. Though many of these are curable, they are worsened by the lack of medical facilities able to treat them effectively. Evidently, there is a lot that needs to be done in Tharapaka. The education system in Tharapaka is almost non-existent as most children are put in a position where they must work and help look after their families. Muslim Rose Welfare have been able to open up three schools and intend to open up many more with your help. to open medical facilities to serve the locals and install several hand pumps and water wells to provide fresh and safe water. We are also associated with the Harris Shaheed Water Project, the Parker's largest one, where the ongoing project is to dig a 750 feet deep water well. other is truly what makes us human and Muslim Rose Welfare are confident in humanity that we can come together to truly better the lives of those in Tharapaka as they so desperately need it. Your small donation can go a long way in helping us provide schooling and water facilities. 
we humbly request you to donate graciously to the project. Many thanks to Ilford Islamic Centre London for their ongoing support to Muslim Rose Welfare Projects in Thirupaka Desert, Pakistan.